So after being on social media recently, we're talking about all things Dahlia, as I do. So someone was on a pint-sized gardener, and she was saying she tried a Dahlia last year, no success, eaten by slugs. And it was only this year that, she, as she was talking to people on social media, she said, oh, start them off in pots. Didn't know you could do that, what a great idea. So I, I have a lot of my dahlias actually in pots and at various stages of sprouting. So I popped on down to the garden centre and I got a dahlia tuber just to do a wee demonstration. This one is called Moulin Rouge and you can see it's a lovely red and white. Looks nice, isn't it? 100 centimetres in height. Well, that's about waist height, so that's just about. Now, it is late for doing tuberous dahlias, but it's not too late. And you can see this one is actually sprouting in the bag. You can see that little shoot there. So as I plant this, I'll see if I can orientate that shoot just a little bit. I don't want to break it, but just a little bit to send it in the right direction. That's the top of the plant. And that's obviously the, the roots themselves. So potting it, I'm going to look for a pot that'll fit reasonably snugly into. I have a variety of sizes here to choose from. And, uh, that's probably just a little bit tight. So I'll go for the bigger five litre pot. So compost as always is a mixture of topsoil, sieve topsoil and uh, compost and um, I have some grit in there as well and of course the odd snail just to make life interesting. Of course they love dailies don't they? And for this, for the pot, the way I put the compass in the pot, you can see it there. And I hope is where it is. I sort of have a little mound in the middle. This will fit over the mound. So it's a, you don't have to do that. But it's a good way of making sure that the soil is in underneath the tubers. So something along that sort of lines. And then just fill in around it. Giving it a good shake as I go. Because I don't want any air pockets in where those tuberous roots are and the good watering then will finish and we'll move the soil in where I fully want it that's the thing about when you're doing them a little bit later and they do pre-sprout you know that one's going off in a certain direction but that's okay that's okay It'll write itself, and if I want, I can get a little cane and pop a little cane on. But I'm not sure that I will. I'll see. I'll see. At the moment, I'm just quite happy to have it potted, and that's the way to start your dahlias off, rather than in the soil. It's as simple as that. Into a nice sheltered area. Um, I have the greenhouse here behind me, but any sort of nice sunny patio, and I think by July, maybe mid July, because. It's for, for this one, they'll be, they'll be full of these flowers. Of course, if you're doing dahlias and you have a few different ones, always good. Always good to make sure that you're labeling them. So you can tell one from the other in a couple of months time. And there you go, you can see it's nicely shooting away there. And that one there has some even taller, softer shoots. So once there's four pairs of leaves, 
four pairs of these guys showing about that height I'll pinch out and let it push up. Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.